All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Wahawar Chakwadash, with Yahweh. That's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ as his true name, and Rachak Wadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well in the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing his word in all truth and in all sincerity. And today, I want to get into a lesson that was inspired by this video here that you see. And you had the uh, elder uh, Ritazawanya, all right, the elder brother Ritazawanya or Saint Benji, with the uh, elder Jeremiah, or right, our elder brother Jeremiah, or Murph, as you brothers may know, all right, when they had the. Um, the uh, disciples camp session on Friday and uh, this was brought to my attention by the uh, brother uh, Bata uh, Bataka Allah all right in my camp and uh, he went to the uh, this particular disciples camp and he was saying that you had this guy all right that you see on the comment board which um, you know his YouTube handle is a, a new dawn and he was a, a part of a uh, GMS Chicago for uh, several years or I believe about seven years, roughly, you know, uh, more or less. I can't remember exactly when he uh, came into our camp, but uh, he, uh, uh, you know, walked away and pretty much is a scoffer now. He's a fanboy, right? And, um, you know, he um, came onto the, uh, onto the comment board and started, you know, talking, you know, a bunch of, you know, S-H-I-T. And, you know, the brother started rebuking him. Okay, as they were, you know, teaching. And one thing that the brothers uh, mentioned is how, you know, this man now says that we don't have to keep the Passover, right? And pretty much he, um, you know, he responded to that, right? And I'm going to read his comment. It says here, I always say you could do the ceremonial law. I say that you, you won't be justified uh justify it so of course i'm not going to judge you for keeping it but what i'm saying is that it won't justify you the lord isn't hearing it amos tells you that that's why the lord came right so started i'll say this starting with the apostles on down we've always said that yahweh shy um you know is really uh, uh who's going to justify us we already know that okay that, that that's that's a given you know that's something that we teach okay but you have to still um perform you know these laws these works these deeds okay you can't you know run uh run away from that which this guy is trying to do basically and and really what it is is he's lazy okay he's slothful all right because look keeping the passover um that requires work. That requires discipline. Okay? And see, this guy, he, he doesn't want to deal with that. You know? He doesn't want to deal with that. Alright? And But this is the same guy, I'll say this too. This is the same guy that say, said he'll have, you know, says he has faith, right? And the scriptures talk about what? We're just about, uh, justified, you know, through faith. But what did the scriptures also say, which we'll get in a moment in the book of James... It says, uh, uh, faith without works is dead. Okay? So in order for you to have faith, you have to, you know, perform works. You have to, you know, uh, do particular deeds, actions. Okay? That shows you, that, that shows not only Yahweh Hashem Shai, okay, first and foremost, but it shows you and also the whole world that you really truly believe in this thing. Okay? But these guys, they 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 really don't um, have faith. They believe they do, but they don't, you know. And I've said this, and hey, the elder Saint Benji said this well, uh, while they were teaching. This guy is gonna fizzle out, okay? Hey, his flame is getting you know dimmer and dimmer. He doesn't even go out there and teach anymore, okay? And eventually, the Lord's gonna um, put out his candle, all right. But point being, I want to get into how. You have to have works, okay, in order to have faith, all right? Let me get there. This is a James 2 and 17. 
uh, yep, James 2 and 17. Even so, faith, if it hath not works, is dead, being alone. Yea, a man may say, Thou hast faith, and I have works. Show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. Okay? You see? You have to have uh, uh, works, okay, in order to have faith. As simple as that. So when you got guys out there t saying that you, you know, uh, don't have to keep the Passover, you don't have to go out on the highways and byways and teach anymore, you know, so on and so forth. Those guys aren't on point. Those guys aren't right. Okay? And my whole thing is, okay... Well, with that being said, right? Because they, you, you, okay, Yahweh Shai justifies you as you as you say, right? My whole thing is, well, then go commit adultery. Go, uh, go line up your beard. Hey, go, go eat some, uh, some shrimp, some pork, right now, then. Right? The Lord's gonna justify you. So why even uh, a poll? Uh, why even keep any laws? Period. Then. You know, see they, 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 these guys are you know are bugged out, man. Okay, they're bugged out. That's why the Lord, you know, he, he's gonna deal with them. I'll say this: the Lord's already dealing with you know an individual like that. You know, the oils, you know, you know, uh, uh, leaving him. Okay, this guy's he's obsessed. He's a fanboy. Okay, he's always on a uh, 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 you know the brothers' comment boards. You know, uh, posting stuff, bothering them I, 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 on the live streams. It's like, damn, man, you know, my whole, here's my whole thing, right? We believe in two different things, right? You, you, hey, you have your belief, we have our belief. Why are you bothering us? The scriptures say it talks about what the, you know, after two, two a, a, ammunitions uh, reject. Why do you want to sit here and keep, quote unquote, debating and, you know, quote unquote, let's reason. Clearly, we don't have the same ideologies. So why are you persistent on uh, uh, talking to us then? That's a sign of a bug out, man. Hey, then like how the, the elder brother Murph said, you know, to, to him. Okay, we're wrong. All right, Murphy's wrong. You know, as he said. All right, now what? Go do the work. Go teach. What about Esau? Okay, well, why don't you get on Esau? Why, why, why aren't you, you know, teaching, you know... Israelites, right? That they, they, they're Israel. So on and so forth. You see? Baby, but these guys have nothing else better to do, man. Alright? What fuels what fuels them is it is um coming up against us. Cause they have nothing else now. Okay? But let's keep going. Let me jump down. This is uh, um, James 2 and 26. For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Okay, so if you don't have works, it's dead. You can say you have faith all day, but if you don't have those works, you're through. Okay, and see that's, and I'll say this. The Lord, okay, He's going to save those that have faith and that have works. Because it says here, this is simple. And then you don't know, plain right here. This is 2nd Ezra 9 and 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith wherein ye have believed. That's who's going to get saved. Those that have faith and works. Alright? And look, every man's going to get judged according to the works. As it says in Revelation the 22nd chapter. This is Revelation 22 and 12. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. So were you a, a faithful servant? Were you doing, you know, what the Lord commanded you to do? Okay. Hey, the, the, the Lord has commandments, man. Lord said what? If you love me, what? Keep my commandments. If you love me, feed my sheep. All right. And, they, and with that being said, you have to perform the laws. 
simple. It, 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 that's simple. You know, like I said, yeah, ultimately, Yahweh Shai is going to, he, he's the one who's uh, uh, justifying us, but you still have to show that you have faith. You still have to be an, an obedient servant. Because look, it, my thing is, if you don't follow these laws, then it's what? A free for all. Okay. Then you're, you know, uh, you're in that whole spirit of do, do as thou will. Right. And it's just nothing but a uh, chaos. Confusion. And look, the author, uh, um, the Lord is not the author of confusion. All right. That's madness. Well, you know what this guy is saying, man, that, that you don't have to do these things. It, it's It's crazy. It literally is crazy, man. Like I said, what, what, for him, what was what, the whole point? All right, of um, of keeping the other laws. Then, if if you look, because what you're you're saying, look, all right, I don't have to keep the ceremonial laws. Okay, then don't keep the other laws too. Go all. My thing is go all out. Then, if you if you don't want to do that, then just go all out. Go get tattoos. Go commit adultery. All right, go do some drugs, you know, go steal, go rob, go do all that, right? It's crazy. It's, it's, it's absolutely crazy, man. Hey, but it is what it is, man. All right. Hold on, of course, just had a. I hate when the app crashes. Give me one second. Let me get this again. Oh, oh, God. Here we go. Let me read that again. It says, uh, I always say you can keep the. You can do the ceremonial law. I say that you won't be justified in it. So, of course. I'm not going to judge you for keeping it, but what I'm saying is that it won't justify you. The Lord isn't hearing it. And look, really, the, the look, the Lord is seeing all these things, all right? The Lord is seeing all these things because th th these are sacrifices. This is what you're presenting to the altar, okay? See, this guy's bugged the hell out, man. Let me get this uh, in the book of Sirach. Was it the 25th chapter or is it the 35th? I think it's the 35th. Excuse me. Sirach 35. Yeah, we'll start at 1. Because all these things, they are... Uh, all these things that we do, this is an offering to the Lord. So yeah, the Lord is seeing this, man. What did the scriptures say in the book of Hebrews? That um, that the, the Lord doesn't forget your works and labor of love. Which you know, we'll get that too. You know, I'll start off with that. Let me get that one. This is um Hebrews six. Oh man, oh, let me see if I should read above, uh, up above. You know, let's get straight to the point. I'll read these few verses. This is um. This is uh, Hebrews 6 and 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. And this is a labor, okay? Keeping the laws is a labor. It really is. Like I said, a, a, uh, when we do um, the Passover, that's labor. Hey, you, you know, you got brothers, you know, cooking the food, all right, cooking the lamb, you know, prepping everything, making sure that, they, 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 you know, we got the... Uh, the, the eggs, you know, uh, uh, you know, ready and boiled. You know, you got got the uh, horseradish uh, uh, cut up. Okay, you, you you got the spinach, you got the tortillas, you know. Brother setting up the um um the uh, the ceremonial hall, making sure everything's on point. Hey, we we we, we sit there do a lesson before we we do our cer the actual ceremony itself. The ceremony that that's work. Okay, us not eating bread. And, and, and getting all the leaven out of our house. That, that, that's work. That's discipline. Hey, this guy's bugged out, man. Salaki, this dude, man. 
man, this guy really irritates me. And it all comes down because he's got pride, you know. But let me keep reading. It says, for the most high is not righteous to forget your work and labor of love. And hey, there's other stuff uh, too, man. You got us keeping the laws. That's work. Helping brothers out. So on and so forth. Okay. Which ye have showed towards his name. And that ye have ministered to the saints. And do minister. Okay. Hey, which means you got to teach. <laughs> Cut. Verse 11. And we desire that every one of you do the same or show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. So you got to keep doing this. Okay, until the end. All right? Until Yahweh Shah comes back. Let's keep reading. That ye be not slothful, which that guy is slothful. Okay? Whether he uh, knows it, believes it, likes it or not, he is slothful. Okay? And the Lord is going to deal with him for being slothful. Okay? And it says, But followers of them... Who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Alright. And as we just read. You got to have works. If you have faith. Okay. They're, they're synonymous with each other. And you're going to get saved by your works. And your faith. Alright. <laughs> That's how you're going to inherit the promises man. Okay. See, you, you, you guys are through, man. Lord is going to just annihilate you, okay? And I, and I honestly pray that he does annihilate you. Because, hey, man, I, 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 like I said, I, I'll say this. I'm offended, okay? I'm vexed. And, I, hey, man, I, I hope, you know, your table becomes a, a stumbling block, which it is. Hey, you, you know, you, you believe in that? Cool, man. Keep believing in it. Actually, I want you to keep believing in it. I, I don't want you to, to have the, the, this uh, uh, precious, you know, uh, the, you know the, this precious treasure. Damn, demon. Okay, because you're, you're like that, um, what does it say? Uh, don't cast your pearls before swine. You know, it says something under the lines that they, 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 they'll trample. You, you know, they'll trample it. And hey, you guys got the treasure and, you, and the pearls and you started... You know, stomping all over it, man. Yeah, I don't want you to get it. Go, go. You know? You see? But let's get, um... Let's get that, uh, Sirach 35. Real quick. One of my favorite scriptures here. This is Sirach 35 and 1. He that keepeth the law bringeth offerings enough. See, if you keep the law, that's an offering. Okay? He that taketh heed to the commandment offereth a peace offering. He that requiteth a good turn offereth fine flour. He that giveth alms sacrificeth praise. To depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to the Lord. And to forsake unrighteousness is a propitiation. Okay, you see? These are pleasing things to the Lord. When you, uh, uh, you know, forsake you know, the ways of this world. When you uh, follow, you know, after him, you follow his ways. Okay, let me keep reading. Verse four: Thou shalt not appear empty before the Lord. And see, you guys are spiritually not bringing anything to the altar. Okay, and the Lord is going to be pissed, man. You guys are basically doing um that whole uh uh, uh uh you got that Cain offering. And the Lord was mad with Cain's offering. You're a bunch of uh, 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 spiritual canes, man. Okay? That's all you are. Bunch of spiritual Edomites and spiritual Canites, man. Okay? That's it. Damn demons, man. Yeah, in the flesh you are Israelites. But in the spirit, man, you, you guys are, are, are uh, like I said, you're a bunch of you know, spiritual Edomites and spiritual Canites, man. Let me keep reading. For all these things are to be done because of the commandment. The offering of the righteous maketh the altar fat, and the sweet savor thereof is before the Most High. See, everything is, you know, um, before the Most High. We're, we're all going to get judged on our works and what we've been, you know, pr uh, uh, putting on the, uh, uh, on the altar. Okay? What is your sacrifice? That's something that you have to consider. You know? 
All right. And like I said, yeah, obviously, Yahweh Shai was that ultimate sacrifice. No doubt about it. But you yourself still have to, 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 to you still have to uh, present an offering, man. You know? Scriptures tell you in the book of Romans that they that uh, present your bodies as a living sacrifice. I guess Paul was going off, right? So that means you're saying that really Yahweh Shai is going off because Paul was taught by Yahweh Shai. You guys are just demons, man. And the Lord's going to kill you, man. All right? Simple as that. Like I said, you're just uh, that wicked and, and slothful servant that the scriptures talk about. And the Lord hates it hates those uh those uh, wicked and slothful servants. Okay, let's keep reading. Verse seven: The sacrifice of a just man is acceptable, and the memorial thereof shall never be forgotten. Okay, it says, "Give the Lord his honor with a good eye, and diminish not the first fruit of thy hand. In all thy gifts show a cheerful countenance, and dedicate thy tithes with gladness. Give." Unto the Most High according as He had enriched thee. And as thou hast gotten, give with a cheerful eye. Alright, so that's what you, you got to be doing. You know? And then really, the things that we uh, 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 are teaching are just your reasonable service. These are things that are gonna, going to be um, uh, going to be done throughout all generations. Even with that, uh, the, I already did a lesson on it. You know, with the whole Passover thing, that that's something that's going to keep going on and on and on, man. That's not going to um, be uh, taken away. This guy is bugged out, man. Like I said, don't listen to this dude. Or listen to guys like that. Okay? And it's mainly for you uh, new brothers. Because, you, know, you know, those who are new into the in, in this faith, you know, you, you may listen to, you know, uh, different Israelites, you know, when you first come in. Right? And you're not really sure who, you know, for lack of words, you know, who has the truth, you know. But I'll say this. Guys like that, stay away. And we, we here at, at GMS have done dozens of videos cutting, uh, you, know, say, you know, guys like this. All right, in statements like that. These guys can never, you know, back up what they're saying. They may bring out one precept, two precepts, right? And then a lot of times... They'll sit there and, and um, uh, misinterpret it, break it down completely wrong, you know. And then when they have a, a, a us come in, rebuke them, correct them on everything, then they don't say anything. Then they'll go to another precept. Well, what about this? What about that? Look, man, you just don't get it. Like this guy, right? You just don't get it, right? Break down uh, Galatians 4, 9 through 10. And guess what the brothers did? Cut your dumb ass. You shut your mouth and then you go on to the next thing. And then the next thing, and the next thing. And it's just, you're running around in a circle, man. You're through. Hey, you're dizzy right now, bro. You're, you, hey, you fell and you, and you, you know, and you can't see straight. Completely gone, man. But hey, that's why we got to pray that the Lord doesn't take our Holy, you know, the Holy Spirit. All right, from us. But that's pretty much it. You know, I'm going to end off this lesson. Hopefully it was edifying one. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto you. Also, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone and salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom.